Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the Sony PXW X180. So other than X180, you also got the X160. So the difference in between is 160 is without the Wi-Fi and then the 180 is with Wi-Fi. Okay, so this camera for me, I would say it's, um, it's a combination of NX5 and also the uh, PMW um, 150 and then upgrade it into a lower compression codec. So why I say that is because this camcorder is now can record XAVC intra, XAVC long got. At the same time, you can down to um, the PMW series, which is the HD422 MPEG, uh, MPEG2 uh, 50 megabit per second. And even you can go down into the, uh, um, the AVC HD, which is the codec from uh, NX5. So, for example, like the, uh, the, the camcorder itself, the recording media is still the same. You, will, you can use the, um, the, uh, the S by S card, and then at the same time, you got the, um, the SD card slot, which you can, doing the, uh, you can record the SD proxy onto this uh, slot, uh, which is the, uh, can only support the, um, um, the H.264, so it's the MPEG-4 functions. And then if you want to have like the, um, uh, the AVC intra, AVC long god, or maybe the HD 422, 50 MP per seconds, you have to use the uh, uh, SBIS card. But now the SBIS card can record simultaneously and also you can just like jump to one to two if it is full. So I think this is, I would strongly recommend to, uh, to, if you are not using maybe record it for a long period of time, just put two cards together and then maybe simultaneous recording. because. Sometimes you never know if a, if, a, if a media gone wrong and then at least you still have another copy, just in case. So it's very happy that like start from NX5 and NX3 from Sony and then all the camera which launched this year is now have this kind of functions. So other than this, and then you got like uh, quite a number of uh, connections. For example, like you got the 3G SDI BNC uh, output, you got the TC, you got the, uh, the GenLog, which you can use in this camera to connect with several units of, uh, of Visual Mixer, and then you can use it as a, as a kind of like maybe a minimal OB situations. And uh, other than that, you still got like the, um, the HDMI, and then, and then this is the, uh, the Prop C SD, which I know that this is, uh, uh, should be a, a kind of like maybe a firmware upgrade. So other than that, and then because as I said, they have uh, so many like maybe uh, combinations in between in this, this camera. So the size of this camera, you will find out is slightly large than maybe um, than the previous versions. And at the same time, because it's slightly larger and then the, the weight is also slightly heavier. It's talking about like 5.2 pounds and then which I think is slightly more heavy than the normal the, and the other camcorder. And, uh, but other than that, they still have a lot of good functions which can compensate the, uh, um, the weight. For example, you got like a very um, nice qualities of OLED wheelfinder, which is the half inch OLED um, wheelfinder. I think like for a lot of situations and then the people will complain about like, okay, ah, oh, yeah, you, I got a very good like a wheel finder, uh, LCD mode in the, in the front, but the wheel finder at the back is useless. But this one, definitely good qualities for you to do all the focus and all the other things. And the other thing is they now put on um, a very like uh, user-friendly button, which you can just like maybe press and then you can get the, uh, the vector scoop, the histogram, um, the, uh, the waveform, which is very good because it's more user-friendly. But I think the key, the key factor why I want to buy this camcorder is the optical zoom. Because this camera, I think is the first compact camera which can get 25 times optical zoom. So 25 times, so how, how, how is it equivalent to 35 mm? So this is 26 to 650 optical zoom. So 
oh, this is very like maybe wide range, which I think is bad, is good for news, good for event. Because sometimes you, you maybe you are in the back of the stadium, you want to do a wide shot at the same time, you want to zoom or maybe close up to maybe a mid shot when the when the uh, when the guy is just having a, a speech to the people. And then I think this camcorder is actually very good because before that I heard a lot of like maybe uh, comments about okay the uh, the Sony camera normally they can give you maybe a very maybe short range which maybe I have to put on a teleconverter or maybe I have to put on a wide angle to make it wider but now this camcorder it gives you everything and then other than that is something which is special for me is uh, is the um, variable ND the normally the the most of the camcorder you have like maybe a, uh, a step ND which is maybe uh, is not really useful when you are uh, especially for shots like I want to shoot an indoor pan to an outdoor area and then maybe you might and all in between and you might have to put on the ND on but which is not smooth for for now the very variable ND you can have a very smooth ND close up and ND and then for the for the shots which is I think is quite useful although it's not using all the time but at least it gives you such kind of function which you need and uh, but only maybe downside for me for this camera is this is still a, a one third inch CMOS sensor it's not a half inch or maybe bigger size but I think the, for the functions for the price that uh, Sony is offering I think this is probably like maybe it's good enough for a lot of people especially for as I said for news for for event and then and I hope you enjoyed the my review and then if you want to know more about like this PXW X180 please visit ANS website